Never see the end of the night for sorrow. What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done. What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done. What do we do to love? Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you decided to click on this video. If you are new here and don't know who I am, my name is Kelsey. I'm sure you're here for a reason because you're trying to maybe get some motivation for yourself to clean your house. Right now it is actually nighttime and James is out of the house, so he is with his guys tonight. So I'm all by myself, so there's no better use for my time than getting this house cleaned. I just thought I would bring you guys into my world and see how I get everything tidied up. All right, before I decide to go lay down and take a nap, let's get started in this video. All right, you guys know the drill. Here are some before clips of the disaster that was my house. I really don't understand how it gets like this. I swear I blink and it is a disaster. So I just start all projects by getting everything cleared off clearing everything off my dining room table, throwing things away that I do not need or are just garbage, wiping down the table. I use the Mrs. Meyers geranium scent and it makes your house smell so good. I love that stuff. I got this cute and festive shirt for Valentine's Day that I thought was fitting for the video. It is from Target for $14.99. I wanted to get all of my decorations put away and I got this pink blush bin. It has polka dots on it. I got that at Target as well and that was $7.99 and it fit all of my decorations perfectly and I think it's like the perfect box for all of my Valentine's Day decor. <laughs> It's just time to go around my house, get things picked up and thrown away and put into their correct place. I ended up accidentally popping a balloon and it was so loud. Kenzie was in the other room so I was worried it was going to wake her up, but thankfully she stayed fast asleep. So I had this idea I wanted to run by you guys. So I personally love watching cleaning videos, so I totally get the hype and understand why people love watching them, but I was like, what could be a way to one? help you guys get to know me better and also maybe give you some helpful information or give you something fun to know for instance like best netflix shows to watch right now and telling you guys what they are in my cleaning videos so if that sounds interesting at all leave a comment down below i of course don't mind explaining what i'm doing in the videos but i feel like they're pretty self-explanatory and I trust that you guys know how to wipe down a table. Obviously, if it's helpful information like where I got something or what kind of cleaner I'm using, stuff like that. But when I'm just kind of going around my house picking up things, I thought it would be fun to throw in some different information. though I did want to mention my vacuum because I swear this is the best thing on the planet it has been such an amazing vacuum surprisingly even though it looks so small and tiny it is pretty powerful this is the Dyson v8 and we got it at Costco a few years back and it's held up so well I just love that it's a portable vacuum that you can take around your whole house without a cord I just thought I would mention it My garage is downstairs, so I throw all of my cardboard boxes downstairs until I can get to them. I know that may sound like a lazy thing to do, but it works for me, and it's better than going up and down those stairs a hundred times. I also put things by the stairs that need to go down in the garage. So for instance, my Valentine's Day decor, I have a Ninja blender, all need to go downstairs. I have been loving having fires going every night. It is so relaxing. And this really cute gold basket is from Target and it holds our wood perfectly. I don't know about you guys, but did you even clean your house unless you light a candle at the end? Because that's exactly how I feel. I feel like my house is not clean unless I light that candle. Champagne toast is one of my favorite candles. It makes my house smell so amazing. 
There's not many better feelings than having a clean house at night. It just feels so relaxing and I love that the house is so quiet. There's no noise and I just find it so peaceful. I of course had to turn my living room lamp to a beautiful pink in honor of Valentine's Day. You may have thought we were done, but no, no, we have a lot more to go. I have to clean this bathroom because it was a mess. It seriously looks like an episode of Dateline. Kenzie had a bath earlier in the night. I got her some new bath paint and it makes such a huge mess, as you can tell. I got that all wiped down and then just used our shower head and cleared it all off and it came off super easy. I got those bath paints at the dollar store so they're really inexpensive but she loves them so much. It's such a good thing to keep her busy. Since it was almost midnight, I decided not to do a deep clean in this bathroom tonight. I will end up doing that probably sometime next week because it desperately needs it. But I got everything picked up. There was a bunch of stuff left out on the counter, so I had to get that put away. There is something kind of relaxing though about cleaning at night. I don't know what it is. It's just a really great time for me to think because I didn't have any music going, so it was just me and my thoughts. I decided to use the Home and Planet multi-purpose spray on my countertops and it smells so good. It's citrus yuzu and vanilla. I also got a new hand soap by Method and put that out on the counter. If you guys missed my last Dollar Tree haul, then I'll leave it right up here. But I used the mouthwash in this glass bottle from the Dollar Tree and I think it looks really cute. I used one of these teal bins from the Dollar Tree for all of Kenzie's bath products. So her shampoo, body wash, bubble bath, everything like that. After that, I just took a minute to wipe down the cabinet above the toilet and it gets so dusty. It's crazy. I swear I'm always wiping this down. I can't believe how dirty it gets. We don't need the past in our lives for tomorrow. Never see the end of the night, but we're sorrow. Next up, I wanted to talk to you guys about this toilet paper holder. If you don't have one, you should definitely get one. You know those times when you have to yell down the hall for someone to grab you toilet paper? This thing has saved me so many times from having to do that, and that's why I love it. It fits four toilet paper rolls inside of it, and you set it right next to your toilet, and it has come in so handy. They are so great. Here is my after of the clean bathroom and it just feels so nice to have a clean space again. tonight's video i hope you guys enjoyed seeing the transformation if you have any questions definitely leave me a comment subscribe if you aren't i would love to have you and get to know you what i want to start doing in the next few weeks is shouting out people in my comments in my videos i've just been thinking a lot lately about this community and what i want it to be and i really do want it to be more interactive i want to actually feel like i know everyone that i'm talking to obviously I can't know everyone but you know what I mean I just want to feel like we're all in this together we're all people that are trying to do our best in lives and I think it's just fun to have that community around you to encourage you inspire you motivate you so that's what I'm here to do for you guys but also you guys for me because it really does make me feel inspired and motivated to continue creating content when 
there are people that like my videos. So your support really does mean a lot. I'm not just saying that, it really does. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for everyone that clicks on my videos, likes my videos, and comments because it does not go unnoticed. So I want to be more intentional about that with you guys, replying as fast as I can and shouting you guys out in my videos. If you leave me a comment and tell me something fun about yourself or just introduce yourself, then you may see your name pop up somewhere around the screen. If you guys get any cleaning or projects accomplished this weekend, please leave me a comment and let me know, or you can even DM me on Instagram. I would love to cheer you on and just be in this thing together. <laughs> All right, bye guys, I'll talk to you soon.